This is a Channel 32 News special, A Day at the Oaks. A Day at the Oaks is sponsored in part by PNC Bank, where performance counts. By your Louisville Area 4 dealers. By the 50 off stores. Framing Express, with four locations to serve you. And by Firely Ford, we know the meaning of dealing. Now, here's Vicki Dorch. The sights and sounds of Oaks Day 1993. Churchill Downs has once again sprung to life and will once again be the center of attention worldwide. Good evening and welcome to Churchill Downs. We have a great crowd gathered here for the 119th running of the Kentucky Oaks. Welcome to the Channel 32 News Special, A Day at the Oaks. We have a great crowd here. We're, last year there were more than 79,000 people, people here at the Oaks. This year we're expecting even more people than that. Coming up in the next 19, 90 minutes, we're going to take a preview of the race. And we're going to look at Eliza. That's the filly that's expected to run away with this one. Fans were lining up early today to get a prime spot in the infield. Derby 119 is about 24 hours away. We'll have the latest on the run for the Roses. And of course, we'll take a look at the, all the day's news. Now the weather has cooperated for the most part. We have some dark clouds overhead, but we have a great crowd out here. Everybody's enjoying the sunshine today. See a lot of sunburns out there on the grass today. Reed Yaden is standing by live in the Churchill Downs greenhouse. Reed, I know if the skies open up, you can get undercover, right? <laughs> I am undercover. We'll have good weather in here regardless. Not too worried about the skies opening up, Vicki, for the running of the Kentucky Oaks. In fact, some of those folks you mentioned with that sunburn probably a little relieved that the sun's being blotted out by the clouds right now. Let's take a look at our current conditions as we move closer to the running of the Kentucky Oaks. Here's the way things stand at the present time. Skies mostly cloudy in the Louisville area. Temperatures right where we had expected at 73 degrees now. Humidity 50%. The winds at the moment are calm when the reading was taken at Stanford Field. Conditions won't change very much between now and post time, Vicki. So this one looks like it ought to come off in pretty good shape. And I'll be back in a few minutes with a complete look at the Derby forecast coming up for tomorrow. All right. Back to you, Vicki. Thanks, Reed. A lot of you made a lot of people here happy. They're enjoying this weather out here. I'm looking at my program here. I know Eliza is a favorite in this race, but I'm going to take a long shot. I'm going with She's a Little Shy. Now, Fred's track side. Fred, what do you think of my race, of my horse, number seven? Well, I'd like to know why you picked that particular horse. Is it because uh, it's a reflection of you? I mean, are you a little shy? I mean, why'd you pick this horse? I don't know. I just like number seven. I was looking at her last few races. She's doing pretty good. Okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind. I'm not going <laughs> to make a judgment on this bet because if I do that, then... You know, and I say she won't win, she'll go out and win, I'll never hear the end of it from you, so I think I'll play it safe and say Eliza's the favorite, and for very good reason. We have about 38 minutes until post time of the feature race here, the 119th Kentucky Oaks, and in the field of 11 horses, Eliza is the nine, and maybe you can see the odds behind me. She right now is four to five. Eliza is a wonderful filly, and uh, deservingly the favorite. Take a look at why. One lady bathing in the attention of the Oaks is Eliza. Owner Alan Paulson's been combing through Eliza's options ever since the three-year-old hit the racetrack. Seven starts and a million dollars later, trainer Alex Hasinger Jr. has the lady among the best around of either sex. Eliza's so good, she almost made the Kentucky Derby field. In her only start against the boys, Eliza pushed eventual Santa Anita Derby winner personal hope to the limit before finishing a close third. So Hasinger and Paulson went for the softer oak spot instead of the run for the Roses. The Oaks to me is still one of the most prestigious races for Phillies in the country, and, and I think to win that would be a, a great throw for me and a big notch on Eliza's belt. And I think it's very important for a Philly of her status to, to win a race like that. Eliza looks good at Churchill. Had a final work of six furlongs in one minute, 14 and one-fifth seconds. That kind of ability casts a long shadow on the Oaks field. Ability that's led to five wins in seven lifetime starts, never finishing worse than third. It seems Eliza's got the Oaks field covered. She showed that she's a true professional. You know, she's acted like a three-year-old filly when she was two and a four-year-old filly when she's three. So, well, that's rare. yeah, she's done everything right. She tries 110% in the morning and the afternoon. And as we can see, you know, she hasn't thrown in a bad race yet. And the betting public agrees uh, with Alex, the trainer, that indeed Eliza's a wonderful horse to the moment with 37 minutes until, 36 minutes rather, until post time of the feature race. Eliza's now three to five. Vicki, that means that you get a little bit more than $3 for a $2 win ticket if Eliza wins. Let's go back upstairs. 
Fred, you're all about to change my mind. I kind of like Eliza now, but I'm just going to stick with a little. She's a little shy. It's coming off at 30 to 1. If you bet $2 for me, I'll make some money, I think. You got a deal. <laughs> all right. We have a lot of people here, as we mentioned. Behind me, I'm at the second turn on the backside. Behind me, you can see the grandstand and the clubhouse area, and of course, the infield. A lot of folks out there, and they were probably glad to see the clouds come over. Of course, out amongst all those people, who else but Michael Gargiulo. Michael, you out there? Yes, uh, Vicky, we're right here in the infield, and a crowd of people. People are coming over to me. This gentleman thought I was Harrison Ford a moment ago. That's right. It's Chicago. A, Chicago. Oh, they're from Chicago. Isn't that great? I bet you guys like the Bears, right? We like the Bears. Bears. The, Bears. the Bears. Marvelous. Marvelous. These guys have, and women are flocking to these men. It's something I'm you've got to see. No, no, but anyway, you got to... <laughs> oh, don't worry, we won't. But you got to remember, with so many people out here, you got to remember one other thing. They all got to find a place to park. In order to find a place to park actually inside Churchill Downs today, you had to be a VIP WPP. That's a very important person with the parking pass. Okay, man, that's how I'm going to do it for today. Okay. Plenty for you to do, just go ahead and make a U-turn and head on back down. Okay, and this has led to a development of home parking spots. You can park anywhere in anyone's home around here for competitive prices that start anywhere from 5 and run up to $25. I'll sit here and wait for somebody to ask me to park. Tell $10, I can park out back. Park, $10. Disrespect up, y'all going the wrong way. So I got this fellow that told me that it was very convenient. We could see a gate to the park, okay? But he didn't bother to tell us that it was a mile and a half from where you go in. <laughs> Cars are parked in every imaginable way. And what happens if your car happens to be on the inside ring of a very parked place? What if you uh, got a car that's in the back there and you want to get out early? Oh, we just bring a helicopter in and lift them out, and we airdrop them in the street. And... In other words, you're here for the race. Oh, for sure. With competition fierce, this man figured out a way of adding a little something extra to his deal. So you get a space and a burger. Space, burger, and a tip and a race. Amazingly enough, some people found a way around the parking problem. How did you manage to avoid paying for parking? Well, if you go out far enough, you can find room right on the street. Oh, what's far enough, Tennessee? When you see Six bones, blocks. Bones. Six blocks, that's not too bad anyway. The partying here continues, but we're going to turn it over now, over in the paddock area, where John Arazi Bowl is waiting. John? All right, Michael. Uh, imagine winning the Kentucky Derby at age 18. My victory over acne at age 18 was a big deal to me. Stevie Cawthon won the Triple Crown. And the kid from Walton, Kentucky, is a hero with his head on straight. Down the stretch they come. Affirmed on the inside, takes command again. Believe it is second, Aladar gains ground. All oh, uh, the time that Aladar and Affirmed ran together, I, I, I felt like I was like Affirmed. I had one ear back here waiting for Aladar. Aladar is third, but it's going to be Affirmed. Affirmed to Steve Cawthon is going to win this 104th running of the Kentucky Derby. In the Derby, I, I wrote about three or four jumps past the line because I wanted to make sure I passed it. Steve Cawthon and Affirmed edged out mighty Aladar three straight times to win the Triple Crown in 1978. Cawthon was 18, the youngest jockey ever to accomplish the feat. He then set records in New York, winning 100 races in less than three months. But soon after being named Sportsman of the Year, Steve Cawthon suffered alcohol and weight problems and could no longer ride here. I mean, I've, I've had a lot of, you know, successful things in life. I've, you know, I've had a few knocks, but overall, you know, I think that gives you a lot of character. That, that, that's in fact, some of the, the tough things are what teach you the most. Then turn and look, don't look at the camera, look at him. And he'll talk to you, this is Danny Lowe. Now, they're teaching Steve Cawthon how to be a TV analyst. He commands respect around fellow jockeys at Churchill Downs. They know, after his problems here in the U.S., Cawthon went to England and dominated racing there, too. As far as dreams, you know, that part of my dream happened very young. So, you have to set new goals, and I just continued to set newer, different goals. What's the high point of Steve Cawthon's life? The Derby, the Triple Crown? No. It was the birth of his daughter last Saturday. Vicky, he truly has his priorities straight. Sure sounds like he does, John. The horses are making their way to you. They've just uh, uh, come off the backside, and they're heading to the paddock area now. Uh, they'll be there in just a few minutes. You guys stay with us. You're going to have a great seat for the 119th running of the Kentucky Oaks. We'll be back right after this.
Selecting a new car should be a rational decision. A perfect argument for Dodge Shadow. With this package, you'll get a wealth of options, like AM FM stereo cassette and air conditioning. Plus, you'll get $1,000 cash back. $2,000 if you should decide on a sunnier location. Making Shadow very affordable at just over ten dollars So, whether you buy, lease, or just want to look, Shadow definitely makes sense. See your nearest Dodge dealer today. We know how to help. And now for some thin, different Domino's new thin crust pizza. It's really something. A crispy, crackly, crunchy crust pizza. It's a whole nother taste in a whole nother way. Now that's some thin. Try it now and you'll also get... Something for nothing when you call Domino's. Right now, get a medium one-topping extra crispy thin crust pizza free when you buy any large specialty pizza at the regular price. Only from Domino's. Cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, hug a little longer, stay close a little longer, longer with Big Red. That Big Red freshness lasts right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on. Walk it, chew it, say goodbye a little longer, make it last a little longer. Give your breath more lasting freshness with Big Red. The news is sponsored in part by the Star of Louisville, the craft of fine dining and entertainment. with Champagne Brunch on the Star. Welcome back to Churchill Downs in the 119th running of the Kentucky Oaks race. We're about 30 minutes away to post time, and as you can see, quite a crowd here at Downs today. The infield is packed. They're expecting more than 79,000 people, a record crowd this year. Quite a day out here. We're about 30 minutes to post time. As Fred told you earlier, Eliza is the favorite in this race. The filly almost ran in the Kentucky Derby, but she decided not to. She's going to run here at the Oaks today. Maybe she'll win. Fred says she will. I'm going to go with number seven. She's a little shy. A lot more going on today, though, than happening here at Churchill Downs. In fact, I understand we have a verdict in the Don Blandford trial. Steve Bergen is standing by in the newsroom with the tale. Steve? Thank you very much, Vicki. In the news on this Derby Eve, the verdict is in at the federal courthouse in Frankfort, and the verdict is guilty for former Kentucky House Speaker Don Blanford. The jury reached its decision a little more than an hour ago. Blanford was found guilty of extortion, racketeering, and lying to the FBI. Blanford showed no emotion as the verdict was read, but later outside the courthouse said he would appeal. Under Kentucky's Constitution, Blanford does not automatically lose his seat in the General Assembly. Blanford was Speaker of the House for eight years, and many considered his power second only to the governor. Coming up at 6, Channel 32's Mark Grimm will have a complete report from Frankfurt on the verdict and reaction to it. Top-ranked tennis player Monica Sellis was stabbed today during a match in Hamburg, Germany. Monica Sellis was setting down between sets when a man in the crowd lunged at her and stabbed her in the back with a knife. Sellis was rushed to a nearby hospital, but her injuries are not life-threatening. Authorities aren't sure the motive, but they say Sellis has been the target of death threats related to the political turmoil in her homeland, homeland, the former Yugoslavia. So far, her attacker has not been identified. The United States could be just days from taking a more active role in the Bosnia crisis. Aides say President Clinton will decide what action to take by tomorrow. Options reportedly include almost everything except putting U.S. troops on the ground in Bosnia. Clinton is getting input from top military and security advisors. His communications director says the president wants to be well, fully informed. First, we have to have uh, a multilateral approach, an approach with our allies in full consultations. As the president said, he expects to reach a decision before the end of the week. We would expect that after that, uh, Secretary Christopher and others in the administration would engage in consultations with our allies. And then the president will, of course, come back to Congress and the American people. The president is moving ahead, even though Bosnia Serb leaders have agreed to reconsider the UN-sponsored plan that would divide Bosnia into ten regions. They've agreed to attend a conference in Athens this weekend. 
One year ago yesterday, rioting shattered Los Angeles, leaving more than 50 people dead. But it also led to a truce among rival gangs. On Thursday, gang members met at a Los Angeles convention center to help strengthen the one-year truce. They traded ideas instead of bullets in an effort to establish a lasting peace in their neighborhood. At least 12 of the bodies retrieved from the burned-out Branch Davidians compound have gunshot wounds. That's according to a Texas medical examiner. Workers ended the search for bodies yesterday, just 10 days after the compound went up in flames. In all, authorities have located 70, 72 bodies in the debris of the compound near Waco. Cult leader David Koresh's body has not yet been identified. The warden at the maximum security prison in Lucasville, Ohio, says nearly 100 inmates could face criminal charges related to the 11-day siege. One guard and nine inmates died in the standoff. It ended last week with the surrender of more than 400 prisoners. Warden Arthur Tate says he thinks several people are responsible for that disturbance. The charges against them could include murder, kidnapping, and rape. And finally, astronauts on the Space Shuttle Columbia spent the day searching for a mysterious air leak. But the leak turned out to be just a slight temperature spike, which resulted from experiments aboard the aircraft. NASA says cabin pressure has now returned to normal. Meanwhile, the astronauts are trying to conserve energy to extend their mission to a tenth day. As of today, Columbia is scheduled to land on Wednesday. And that's the news at this hour. We'll have more from the newsroom later in this broadcast. Let's now go back out to Vicki Dorch at Churchill Downs. Vicki? Thanks, Steve. We're about 24 minutes away to post time for the running of the 119th Kentucky Oaks. Stay with us. You're going to be able to see the entire race here on Channel 32. We'll be back right after this. You mean I can win this much money playing the Kentucky Lottery's Powerball game for this Saturday's drawing? Powerball. Nine ways to win plus Mega Million Dollar Jackpots. Chi Chi's yeah! Chi knows you love chicken. Olé! So we stuffed it into an enchilada, Olé! rolled it into a taquito, Olé! and grilled it Tex Mex style. Chi Chi's Chicken Trio Olé, just $7.99. And right now, the same low price includes our delicious Sopapillas dessert. What a sweet deal. Chi Chi Olé! A celebration of food. Do you know how quick and easy it is to make a bubble? Vittorio, tell them about the sauce. <laughs> My mother. And now it's easier than ever with new bubbly pizza sauce. Tell them it's as easy as making a sandwich. Oh, mama, who'd want a sandwich when they could have a bubbly? Bubbly with cheese. Bubbly with chicken. Bubbly with spaghetti. They're all so easy to make with new bubbly pizza sauce. Look for it on the bubbly rack like this. And remember, it's more than a pizza. It's a bubbly. Here's three great reasons why you need to shop Byerly Ford now. Over 600 new vehicles are available. Financing as low as 6.9% of cash back from Ford saves you up to $2,000. You're only 20 minutes away from lower prices when you shop Byerly Ford. We know the meaning of feeling. It's so scary. Trusted him. Geraldo, we 
Welcome back to Churchill Downs and a day at the Oaks, the Channel 32 News Special. You're looking at a shot of the infill there. A lot of people have gathered here at Churchill Downs today for the running of the Oaks, which a lot of people here consider the local race. This is local derby day at Churchill Downs. Welcome back. The uh, clouds are still above us, but no rain yet. In fact, it feels pretty good out here. Let's check in with Reed Yaden in the greenhouse. Reed, how does the weather look tonight for that Barnstable Brown bash? Vicki, you don't see any problems for it at the Good. present time. I don't think you're going to need the reed set of wood umbrella or anything like it that. It doesn't tonight. match my outfit. Yeah, <laughs> your, your outfit is, is in good shape tonight. It looks very, very good, too. Uh, at least the one you have on now. I can't wait to see your outfit for tonight for Thank the party. You. Okay, let's take a look in the, in the greenhouse here. This greenhouse is a state-of-the-art facility on Churchill Downs at Longfield Avenue at Wizard. Just a beautiful facility. They grow everything in here, and this is part of the reason Churchill Downs looks so beautiful. Folks around the world at Derby time. A little weather information right quick now. Presently at uh, the Stanford Field, temperature reading in the low 70s, 50% humidity. The winds are calm, and there you see the pressure holding steady, 30 inches even. Today's high temperature, 78, the low 58 degrees. Quick look at the current satellite imagery, and for us it shows quite a bit of cloudiness around the area. The clouds will be staying around this evening, but not worried about producing any rain, at least for the Kentucky Oaks. Now then, by state temperatures, everybody enjoying a comfortable afternoon with some degree of cloudiness. Here's my forecast now from the Channel 32 Weather Center. For tonight, mostly cloudy, the overnight low around 60 degrees. Going to be a balmy, kind of a muggy night, too. Now, here's our Derby Day outlook. Wayne Hart and I put this one together for you. Clouds, some sun. Going to be a little optimistic that we'll get a little bit of sun in here. Chance for afternoon thunder showers, though. We're going to have to thread the needle again. The high in the middle, 70s. Now, on the extended outlook, you see Sunday looks like a cloudy day. A better chance for thunderstorms. And we'll keep our eye on this whole situation for you, Vicki. But the Oaks will be run under dry and cloudy conditions. I'll be back in a few minutes with more. Okay, thanks, Reed. We're about 20 minutes away to post time here. I picked horse number seven in this race, a long shot. She was going off at 30 to 1. Now she's 45 to 1. Maybe it's a bad bet. She's a little shy is the name. John Bowles in the paddock. John, can you see horse number seven? How does she look? Uh, horse number seven is not in yet, Vicky. Just uh -oh. a couple have come in. <laughs> I, I That's can trouble. <laughs> no, they'll be in. They'll be in. I can tell you I am surrounded by wealth here in the paddock as the owners of these great horses await uh, the horses to come in, even the, even the 45 to 1 shots. Uh, a lot of people wait until they can get a good look down here in the paddock at the horses before making their bets. I, I love to watch the way people make their bets. Everyone has a different approach to this. Some people simply look like they know horses. This is the third letter with R in it. Some people admit they have few clues. But I think that if you pay too much attention to the numbers, you kind of get lost in them. Just keep it simple with good colors and, and a name that jumps out at you. That is sinful to the veterans who drape their tables with racing forms. I like Prairie Bayou because he can run from any position, run on any off track, and that's the horse I'm going to take in the derby, Prairie Bayou. For those who own horses, handicapping is unnecessary, even for a coach who is supposed to be practiced at reviewing past performances. I'm not a handicapper per se. I, I root for, um, I'm like a grandmother children's names, birth dates, and things of that nature. But some people around the paddock who handicap with Budweiser talk better strategy than the coach. And you kind of look at the condition of their ankles, their knees, kind of want to see if he's sound. Uh, just kind of the way he's kept, the way he walks, the way he holds his head, the look in his eye. Is he ready to go? Some people pay no attention to things like buyer speed figures, opting instead to stare at other types of figures. Beautiful women. Beautiful women? Beautiful women. Something amazing has happened, Vicki. I have not made a single bet today. That's probably saved me an awful lot of money going by my past experience here on Oaks Day. Vicki? <laughs> well, John, I I'm beginning to worry about my horse. If she's not even in the paddock area yet, maybe I should be concerned and change my mind here. No, I don't know. I've got a lot of friends whose horses don't even make it around the track sometimes of the horses they bet on, <laughs> so I think you'll be all right. All right. Thanks, John. And th uh, we'll be right back in just a moment. Stay with us. Remember, you're going to see the entire Oaks race right here on Channel 32.
save on Dodge Caravan during the National Minivan Sale. Take this one. You can get over $1,800 in total savings, including air and no extra charge with the Family Value Package. Or check out this loaded Grand Caravan LE with $2,600 in total savings, including sale prices on some of our most popular luxury options. Only at the Minivan Store. See your nearest Dodge dealer. We know how to help. Presenting the rugged 14 horsepower white lawn tractor with four wheel steering. It's a great way to get around your lawn and your house. Your wife's pride and joy or whatever gets in your path. Best yet, a white is specially engineered to get you around the biggest obstacle of all, price. So stop into your local white dealer and cut a great deal. Want a carpet cleaner recommended by leading carpet manufacturers? Call Stanley Steamer. We're tough on dirt. Get on carpet. Tell City Factory Authorized Sale Month means savings of 25 to 40 percent at Schmidt Furniture of New Albany. Dining room furniture in Hard Rock Maple, Heartland Oak, and the beautiful new Tidewater Cherry Collection. Bar stools, occasional tables and lamps. Bedroom suits in Maple, Oak, and Tidewater Cherry. Tell City All Wood Glider Rockers are included in Schmidt's 25 to 40 percent off sale. We're the affordable furniture store, Schmidt Furniture. On the furniture corner of State and Main in New Albany. About this Lotto Cash game. Okay, look, Lotto Cash is real simple. You see, unlike other state lotteries that take up to 20 years to pay their winners, you know, a little the first year, a little the second year, a little the third year, and so on. With Lotto Cash, if you're a winner, you get your million bucks all at once. Lotto Cash. All cash, all at once. Got it? I'm afraid so. All at once. Welcome back to Churchill Downs and our coverage of the 119th running of the Kentucky Oaks. We're about 15 minutes away from the uh, Oaks race. Post time's just around the corner. A lot of people looking at their programs the last minute, trying to decide who they're going to bet on. I'm taking horse number seven. She's a little shy. It's a long shot, 45 to 1 odds. Fred is sticking with Eliza. He's trackside. Fred? Hi, Vicki. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to trackside at Churchill Downs. We're about 14 minutes uh, from post time of this uh, outstanding race. Uh, people are walking by all over the place. Yes, indeed, because they're so excited about this 119th Kentucky Oaks. Eliza, the favorite, at 3-5. to five. First of all, uh, a compelling story we want to get to right away uh, to change the uh, subject here for a second. Monica Sellis, the world's top-ranked women's tennis player, we mentioned it earlier in this newscast, was attacked with a knife at a tournament today. Uh, we go to the videotape. She suffered a cut of less than an inch in uh, diameter near her spine. Uh, Sellis has been receiving death threats uh, dealing with the Yugoslav political situation. A man came out of the stands, stabbed her while she was sitting down uh, between games in this tennis match. The 19-year-old Sellis is an uh, ethnic Hungarian from Serbia and lists her country as Yugoslavia. Luckily, though, Sellis was not seriously hurt. She will be released from the hospital in the morning. Congratulations. A lucky, lucky a time for Monica Sellis. Now, let's take a look at the field for the 119th Kentucky Oaks. It is an 11-horse field as we are about uh, now 13 minutes from post time the number one betting interest is an entry uh, actually a dream mary and lunar spook the one and one a uh, morning line odds of six to one the two is comerant's flight the three some runner the four boots and jackie the five quinn pool the six is dispute the seven she's a little shy vicky giving a ton of interest to this young lady also the eight is aztec hill the nine the favorite at three to five eliza and the 10 is AB's Shadow, an 11 horse field. We'll be seeing that live here in just a few minutes. Tomorrow, of course, it's the 119th Kentucky Derby. Today, early betting is going on in the Derby. Those odds will be released uh, sometime early this evening. We'll have that for you on our late report. Meantime, one horse receiving some interest is Dixieland Heat. For more on that horse, let's go backside to Rick Van Hoos. Rick? All right, Fred, there are certainly hundreds of stories, as there is every year with uh, the Derbies. But Derby 119, while they say the field is down a little bit vanilla because everybody's been beaten up on each other throughout the spring, I say that this derby has some interesting stories. One of them, as you mentioned, Dixieland Heat and the contingent of Randy and Gerald Romero. Here's their story. Dixieland Heat is basking in the story of Gerald and Randy Romero. Two brothers from South Louisiana who find themselves chasing a dream in the Kentucky Derby. It would be a dream come true for both of us. It would be very special. Randy will ride what Gerald has trained. 
Hollywood couldn't have written a better script. How many brothers you, you ride their horses as trainers? It's one in a million. Especially in the Kentucky Derby. Yeah. That's, the, that's the ultimate race in racing. If uh, we can get a little luck and be competitive in the Derby, which I think he is, it just uh, it takes a lot of luck to win the Derby. And the Romeros know a lot about luck. In fact, the movie Casey's Shadow was based on their family's rags to riches story in the 1975 All American Futurity. When they beat the odds, and this poor family from Louisiana wound up raising the country's leading quarter horse. It's like they, they're rewriting the script again, you know. Um, have we got horses running in the, in the Kentucky Derby, and, and we got a good chance at winning it. In real life, Randy rode Rocket's Magic to a third place finish in the world's richest race. In the movie, their horse won the million dollar futurity, prompting a celebration that Romero's know by heart and are hoping to steal from Hollywood. Tell me, what was your first thought? <laughs> I thought I was going to pee in my pants. <laughs> Walter Matthau, I guess, who was portraying your father. Yeah. All right, so what a wonderful story it is. Uh, Dixieland Heat, though, 15 to 1. The horses for the Kentucky Oaks are coming onto the track, so let's go back over to Fred Calgill. Thank you, Rick. Right now, uh, the 11 horses are coming out onto the racetrack. The first uh, 10 actually are out. We see the last of the 11 coming out. You'll see him coming by me in just a few moments. That lady's name is A.B. Shadow. That is the 10 horse in the 11 horse field right now with about uh, 10 minutes until post time. Eliza continues to be the favorite at 4 to 5. Vicky, that means that if you bet $2 on, on the favorite, the horse that I like quite a bit, you'll get back about $3.60 for a $2 win bet. So i got to tell you, I kind of like the numbers that you might get if your horse wins, but of course, that's a big hit. You calculate my winnings on that horse number seven, if you will. Well, me. the seven horse is now 45 to one, Vicky. Now that means for a $2 win bet, you get back $90 plus the $2 that you originally bet, a winning payoff of $92 for a $2 win second. I like that. I better go bet, and it's great. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll have more right Remember how flowers used to be all you needed for Mother's Day? Well, not anymore. Times have changed, and so has Mom. And 50 Off has a store full of great gifts she'll just love this Mother's Day. Sportswear. Jewelry. Dresses. Hosiery. Accessories. Sleepwear. Fragrances. Or a gift certificate if you're still not sure. This year, give Mom more. You got a lot to choose from at the 50 Off store. Of all the ways you can furnish your home, one of the most beautiful ways is with Anderson feature windows and patio doors. Classic lines shape the light that shapes your mood. Elegant designs bring the warmth of tradition, the comfort of nature. Ordinary furnishings create a look. Anderson windows create an experience. Hello, I'm Jeff Wilder speaking for Green Tree Toyota. Your one price better Toyota dealer, and you won't find a better deal on a new Toyota Tercel or a new Toyota pickup truck than this one. No money down and just $159 a month buys you your choice of this new Tercel or this new Toyota pickup. I'll say it again, zero down and $159 a month. Your one price better Toyota dealer, Green Tree Toyota, located five minutes from downtown Louisville, Highway 131, Clarksville. Circuit City guarantees to beat any price in town. Every day. Every Zenith TV is on sale now. Like this 25-inch with remote. Just $297.97. Save on this Motorola cellular phone. Just $49.97. This Packard Bell 486SX computer. Now $999.94. And this Hot Point refrigerator. Just $399.97. Circuit City guarantees to beat any price in town. Welcome to Circuit City. Where service is state-of-the-art. Welcome back to Churchill Downs. You're looking at the horses as they make their way onto the track for the 119th running of the Kentucky Oaks. This is our Channel 32 News Special, A Day at the Oaks. We'll bring you 90 minutes of coverage. We'll show you the entire Kentucky Oaks race right here on Channel 32. We have lots of folks here. Reed Yaden standing by with a weather forecast. Rick Van Hoos and I are here on the backside at Turn 2. We've got a great view of the track. Liz Everman and Bruce Dunbar are up on the roof. Let's take it to them now. 
Well, thank you very much indeed. Uh, glad to be up here on the roof today, and uh, we just had a big gust of wind come up, yes. so Liz is trying to keep her hat on, and yes. we're trying to pick winners here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with some runner. I usually go with Pat Day, and I'm going to stick with him in the yokes today. Believe it or not, we're in agreement on something, so oh, am I. Pat okay. Day knows his way around this track better than anybody, and I know you're supposed to bet on the horse, but Pat Day has a way of making even secondary horse flesh winners here at this track. Absolutely, and he was very lucky in last year's Derby, and let's hope he's as lucky in the 119th running of the Kentucky Oaks. Vicki, back to you. Thank you, Bruce and Liz. We've got a, quite a coverage coming up over the next 60 minutes. Stay with us about 10 minutes away from post time. We'll be right back. Dear Midas, after getting an outrageous estimate at my dealer, I came back to you. Your mechanics, John, Jim, Robert, gave me a free estimate and even pointed out that my brake pads were under warranty, saving me a lot. I was so thankful I bought them all lunch. Thank you, Sarah Ako. Dear Midas customers, at Midas, we won't quote you a price until we diagnose the problem and explain our estimate. That's the Midas way, the way it should be. Hey, Louisville, get the old-fashioned flavor of pizzeria-style pizza from Pizza Hut. It's the kind of homemade pizza you love to slice into with mom and pop. New hand-stretched dough baked into a big, crispy, foldable crust. Piled high with 100% whole milk mozzarella, a new tomato sauce, and any topping you want. This large pizzeria style is all yours for just $7.99. Pop, what do you say? I honestly had goosebumps. Pizza Hut delivers a $7.99 pizzeria style free in Louisville and surrounding areas. A post-derby celebration, Saturday at 6. And welcome back to Churchill Downs for our continuing live coverage of the 119th running of the Kentucky Oaks. I'm Bruce Dunbar, along with Liz Everman, on top of the grandstand here at Churchill Downs. And we have had the weather cooperate today, which is kind of unusual over the past few years here around Oaks Certainly and Derby is. time. This has been one of the best days for weather-wise. And, uh, of course, now that... We are on the air here, just a few minutes away from uh, the Kentucky Oaks. The wind has picked up, and so you may see my hat flying off. I think you may find it there at the second turn. I'm not sure. Now, do you want to explain to folks how you keep your hat on your head? No, it's a secret. Oh, all it's right. a trade secret. Maybe a little later. Actually, I use duct tape, if you know what it is. Yeah, I was going to say, our duct tape roll has gone like <laughs> that in the last few minutes. It's really fun afterwards trying to peel it out of my oh, hair. it is but, painful uh, indeed. I'm well, we... We have the horses on the track, and uh, we're just a few minutes from post time for the 119th running of the uh, Kentucky Oaks, and it's a $250,000 added uh, grade one stakes for fillies, and uh, in addition to the running of the Oaks, we'll be down in the infield where Michael Gargiulo is holding court. And where okay. else are we going to be there, Liz? Down at the Downs. We're going to give you a wonderful preview of Down at the Downs, one of the most beautiful times here at the track, and we're going to talk about a jockey legend. So all of that is to come during our special broadcast here, which continues until 6.30. I believe Fred Cowgill has been keeping a close eye on the horses down at trackside. And I've got to tell you, I walked with Fred through the crowd here at Churchill Downs. He got more razzing than Napoleon did after Waterloo. I mean, people don't respect this guy at all for his oh, handicapping. I think that's a little harsh. What do you think, Fred? Well, Bruce, so you certainly have uh, taken a few punches at me about uh, Arazi and what happened to him last year in the Derby. I have to tell you, I'm now a member of AA, uh, better known as Arazi Anonymous, after what happened to him. But I'm going to put you guys on the line now. Now, Vicky has picked the seven horse in this race, uh, which is 50 to 1 right now. You've got to make a pick before this thing's all over, too. We have just, uh, oh, two minutes or so until post time of this featured ninth race, the 119th edition of the Kentucky Oaks. Let's take a look at the numbers and the names and the morning line odds. And let's everybody pick a name, pick a number, whatever you'd like to do, including the guys upstairs. The one is an entry. Uh, Dream Mary is the one, and Lunar Spook is the one. A you get two horses for the price of one. The morning line is six to one on those two horses. The two is Comerance Flight, thirty to one. The morning line. The three is Some Runner at twelve to one. The four is Boots and Jackie at twelve to one. The five Quinpool, twenty to one. The morning line. The six is Dispute, four to one is the morning line. Uh, the seven, She's a Little Shy, that's Vicky's horse, 30 to one the morning line. Uh, the eight horse is Aztec Hill at six to one the morning